In this video, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how you're marked for your part three of the AQA GCSE drama specification. When we're asked to mark your coursework, as examiners, we're given a specification and we're told that um, we have to give you a mark from zero to 30 and we have to put you into a particular category based on the type of character that you create in your performance. So each of these mark bands that you're about to see shows you a category um, from 0 to 6, then 7 to 12, then 13 to 18, 19 to 24, then 25 to 30, and you will fall into one of those categories. Each one basically basically begins with, a, um, with the sentence, the student will be able to, and then it continues on with um, the rest of the things that you will be able to do were you to fall into that category. The first and most key thing that you must remember when you're performing on stage is that you must be a different character. You mustn't be yourself. Somebody who talks differently to you, somebody who walks differently to you, somebody who thinks differently to you. If you're demonstrating that, then that's when you start to get the high marks. So let's go right ahead and have a look at the lowest band. The lowest band that you can get is 0 to 6 marks. And if you have a look, it says have a limited command of appropriate movement and or vocal skills. Some of the key words there are pace, pitch, pause, projection, intonation, inflection, rhythm, um, facial expressions, body, gesture, space. All of those are key things when you're actually coming to perform. But what you've got to understand is that as an examiner, we will be looking at your use of facial expressions and body language and assigning a key word to it, which will put you in a particular category. In this category, it's limited command. That's the key word. You will have a limited command of appropriate movement and or vocal skills, which means that you won't be creating much of a character on stage. You'll just pretty much be yourself, be very quiet, um, be unaware that the audience needs to be able to hear you and see you, and you won't really um, create much of a character, essentially. So the key words in the 0 to 6 mark band is limited command. If we then move up, the next, the next uh, stage up is 7 to 12 mark band. And um, you'll get more proficient at this, uh, this as we go up. You'll see all of the same words there. Pace, pitch, pause, projection, intonation, inflection, rhythm, body language, facial expression, space, gesture, creating a character. What we'd put you in if um, you were in the 7 to 12 mark band would be if you were demonstrating occasionally the ability to use appropriate movement okay so the key word in the 7 to 12 mark band is the word occasionally you will occasionally be able to show that you have created a character on stage you will occasionally be able to use your voice to project into the audience you'll occasionally use appropriate body language but only occasionally the next band up is the 13 to 18 mark band this is the middle mark band Again, we've got all of the same words, and see if you, for a moment, can just spot the key word there while I'm talking about the rest. We've got pace, pitch, pause, projection, intonation, inflection, rhythm, body language, facial expression, use of space. What's the key word? What do you think? The key word here, in fact, is reasonable. It's in the second sentence. There will be a reasonable command of pace, pitch, pause, projection, etc. So, you'll be creating a character, but it'll be reasonable. It'll be appropriate to the needs of the piece, as the first sentence says. You will have created a character which is appropriate to that um, piece that you've created. Okay, so it'll be a reasonable command of those things. We jump up into the next mark band, we're in 19 to 24, so we're getting into the top mark bands now. And again, you've got a very similar paragraph. If you want to go back through this video at some point and pause and just read the paragraphs, um, then that's absolutely fine as well. I would recommend that you did that. Once we're in the 19 to 24 category, you'll notice that the key word here is good. You'll have a good control of physical and or vocal skills. Okay? So the key word here is good. You will create a good character, which is very recognisable. You'll be aware of the audience and you will um, create a character which is appropriate to the piece. And it will be good. It will have a good voice. It will have a good movement. And um, you will show that you understand 
what the character is thinking and feeling. Now, when you get into the top mark band, it goes from good to being excellent. Excellent is your key word here. You will have created a very thorough character and you will be able to show what that character is thinking and feeling through the body language, through your facial expressions, through your use of space, through the use of your voice. You will also have a good, excellent awareness of the of where the audience are, um, an understanding of how to stand on stage so that the audience can see you, so that you can be heard at all times. So we've gone right from the 0 to 6 mark band up to the 25 to 30 mark band. Which one do you think you're in at the moment? You might be interested when you actually come to do your performance in what mark you get um, might be nowhere near where you think you are. If that's so, then you need to come and ask a teacher why you're in that mark band and maybe they can go through it with you. So my recommendation is to go back through this video again and just pause at each mark band and read very carefully what the examiner will be looking for and read the key words as well.